Hi, I'm Laura GB, and in this video, we're going to revisit getting data from a Power BI dataset using Power Automate. There have been lots of exciting updates since the last time I did this video, and there have also been some requests for some extras. So let's get started. We're going to, it's three steps. So the first step is to write some DAX. So here we are in our Power BI report, um, I've published. But to write some DAX, we need to look at this report in Power BI Desktop. So let's switch across to Desktop. And in November 2023, the update included a way to be able to write DAX and test it out inside your report. So up here on the left, there is a little DAX button. So we're going to go into there. And you can write some DAX in here and you can run it. And when you run it, you get to see it down the bottom. So I've got some pre-prepared DAX because you don't need to see, you don't, you don't need to sit and watch me type DAX, but I will explain it. Um, so in here, we've got a summarized columns, which basically gives you a little table. And so it's a bit like a pivot table, you remember in, in Excel. So we've got the products, the category. So that's going to give me um, fruit green veg and things like that and then I've got two measures total volume and total sales and I've given those columns a heading um, the calculate table filters it down to week offset minus one i.e last week so if I run that code there we are last week we sold 151 boxes of fruit um, 557 pounds so that's given me the data and so therefore I've got a query Okay, it normally will start with evaluate, which is just basically run this code. So I'll take that and I'm going to copy it, control C. And then, so that's given us, that's step one. So step two is to write a flow to use that DAX. So let's switch back over to my browser and let's go to Power Automate. And in here, I'm going to go to create. And we're going to go to a scheduled Cloudflow. So this is something we're going to run every morning. Uh, sorry, not every morning. Every Monday morning. The Monday report. Okay. And so this is going to be every week. And you get to choose which days it's going to run in that week. So therefore, on, a mon on Monday every week, create. And here's the next update. Okay, the next update is Power Automate has changed the, the, what it looks like when you're editing it and there's some, some nice changes in here. So I've got the recurrent step. If I click on the plus and then I click on add action, over on the left hand side here, it gets you add an action. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and find that Power BI query step. And as soon as you search for it, up comes my list and there we are, run a query against a data set. So I'm going to click onto there. Right, so the next thing we do is we're going to choose a workspace. So I've got a sales workspace. My data set is sales report. Be aware, if you just paste the DAX in, okay, you'll it'll, it'll bring in special characters. And that makes it not work. So what you need to do is you may, need to convert it into text. So paste as text. So you can go via pasting into... Um, notepad or something like that that quite often fixes it but the way I use is Windows history okay so up comes my my the, the things that I've copied to my clipboard I click on the three dots and there is a paste as text button and I'm going to put links of, of how to do that in the blog post link down below so there we are there's my query text so that's my three parts great done that's going to work so I've run this a few times. So the next part, okay, is I want to work out what that data looks like when it comes out. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add a, another action over here. And on the left again, I am going to search for a compose. And there we go. There's my data, data operation compose. And the inputs that I'm going to put into there. I'm going to use the dynamic and there we are. We get to see what our Power BI action will return. And it's not a lot. 
okay so i can't i, I can't go and find the individual fields all sorts of things so first table rows is actually what we want so i'm going to go with that i am going to save and we're going to run that okay so i'm going to press the test button and go through all the buttons you have to press to get it to run And there we go, we get these lovely, get these lovely green ticks, it even tells you how long it took to do that stage. And then I've got the Compose selected, because you see there's a blue line around it. And if I look over on the left hand side, you can see the inputs and the outputs that go into a step. And here's my outputs, and it's showing you that you get products and square brackets category, and then square brackets around volume and all those parts. So that's fine, but I want to tidy these things up. I also want to format that sales number. So that's step three is to tidy up that data. So I am going to copy that output because I need it to do a pass JSON. So copy that and let's go back into editing it. So we are going to just drag this over here a second, which is quite nice. You can drag this around. So I'm going to do a plus, add an action, and uh, we're going to go for a parse JSON. So it's another data operation, and there's parse JSON, and it asks you what's the content. Well, the content I'm going to use for the dynamic there is the first table rows again. The schema. I'm not here to write JSON schemas by hand. So there's a nice link down here called do sample payload. And that's why I copied it. Okay. So what we do is we paste into here the output from the run. And then I click done. And it writes for me the schema. So there we are. It tells me that my product category is going to be a string, the volumes an integer, etc, etc. It works it out for you, which is brilliant, makes it easy. So the next part, okay, is I now want to create a little HTML table, and then I'm going to post that to Teams. Okay, so we're going to go into just like I did in my previous video, but this time we're going to add a twist. So I'm going to add an action. And up here, I'm going to put in HTML table. And there we go, another data operation, create HTML table. And where I, the array that's going to come from is the parse JSON body. Okay. And advanced, so this is, this is the slight oddity in this new format. Advanced parameters showing zero of one. No, I just want you to show all of them. And there we are, columns, automatic. I'm going to change that to say custom. And there we are, it gives me the option to enter my own columns. So I can put into here, category, enter the value, go on to the dynamic there. And there we are, see body products category. Put that into there. Then let's go for, well, how many boxes? Of that category did we sell so I'm going to click into there and this is going to be a straight just the volume then we're going to put into here the value the sales value and this time I'm not going to go the the lightning bolt I'm going to go for the FX so that I can write a function and up comes a little box that I can enter that into okay and there is a format yeah, let's ignore the fact that it's see-through. A format number. Open brackets. And I'm going to go and format the body sales. And then we're going to put in a format string, which is going to be, let me just escape to get rid of that grey box. You put it in single quotes. This is the bit that gets me every time. You put it in single quotes. We're going to put in a, a pound sign. And then I'm going to do the standard one of comma separators and 
two decimal places. That will work fine. That works for me. And then we click add down the bottom here. And there we go. I've got my, my, my HTML table. And what we're going to do with that is we are going to add another action, add an action, and we are going to send a message in Teams. That's interesting. It doesn't actually, I don't mean send, I mean post. My apologies. Post message in chat or channel. We can post as the flow bot, that's not a problem. And we are going to post in a channel. And we're going to pick the team. I've only got one team. Contoso. And the channel that we're going to post in into there is my sales results. And what we're going to put in there is a heading of last week sales. And I'm going to put into there lightning bolt to get the dynamic content and the output of my create HTML table. OK, so that's that part done. Let's save. And let's do a test. Click all the buttons. Do the thing. There we go. A whole bunch of green ticks. And let's go and have a look in teams and there we go we've got a table put in there with our things in there we, we, we managed to choose the headings we formatted text so that was taking data from a power bi data set tidying it up a bit and posting it into teams using power automate i'm laura gb if you haven't already please press subscribe take care now